All right, here at No Reserve, we have our uh, all original uh, 94 F-150. That's extended cab XLT 4x4. So it's got the six and a half foot bed. Uh, all original paint, uh, no accidents, never had any paint work done. Uh, this is one of my favorite colors. It's, in my opinion, one of the best reds that's been on any vehicle, but it's called uh, Ultra Red Metallic. So it's a really nice, you know, it's a little, it's not a bright, bright red, but uh, it's like a, but it's like a little bit brighter than like a blood red. Um, they made a few different colors. They had a dark red, they had vermilion, which was a brighter red. Then they had a red that has like a pearl to it, looked like pink, and this is definitely not that color. Um, so it's got 183,000 original miles. Uh, this was recently traded into us on an F-250. Uh, so I'll go ahead and go around. You know, it's been around, um, you know, for 25 years, so, and 183,000 miles. So it's got some little, you know, little bumps. You know, it's got a little, you know, scratch here that comes up and indents the sheet metal a little bit, comes down. Little crease here. Um, no paint lifting issues on, on the hood. The clear coat's all in really nice shape. But the roof, as you see in the pictures, um, on both sides has a little bit of clear coating issues till about here. Um, so if you hit it, if you do buy it and you down the road, you hit it with a pressure washer or something, you're going to want to be careful of those areas. But the cool thing about that is, um, that's really the only clear coat issues besides this little spot right here. Um, so if you wanted to get the roof repainted, um, you pretty much, even if they were a shade off, it's going to be between the rain gutters, so you never would really notice. Um, so you'll see there's a little, little crease right here, but no paint damage on the hood. Little ding right here. Um, you know, you can have your little stone chips on the front of the hood. Uh, the hood's got nice gaps. It's never been hyperextended. You know, sometimes people throw the hood up too much and it'll overextend the hood hinge and then when you pull it down, it'll crease it. You know, you get your typical little condensation here, but it, lights are nice and clear. Headlights look great. They're not all yellowed out. You know, a little scuff in the paint here. You get, of course, your little stone chips. You gotta expect stuff like this around like the door edges, the lower bottom of the truck and stuff like that. Um, the colored lenses are nice. The chrome is nice. It has your little tiny stone chips, a little peppering. Um, the gray coats have faded throughout the 25 years. A uh, little stuff like that, but overall this truck's in killer shape. I mean, you see the bumper's nice and straight. All the gaps in the bumper are nice. It doesn't take much to tweak those. Um, the front and rear bumpers are uh, not maybe the thickest metal, but uh, but all the molding's in nice shape, not pulled away, so nice and black. Factory uh, chrome wheels, the steel wheels, 15's got 31 inch tires on it. Uh, fill up the wheel wells nice. Uh, we did get the front windshield replaced, so that's new. Uh, all the other glass is original in nice shape. Um, you will get a little bit of um, you know, w water spots on the, the sides of the windows, but they make a nice uh, product for that if you wanted to get rid of it. You know, the door sweeps are a little cracked from the years. And again, these trucks are just killer. I mean, you could get uh, brand new door sweeps to the door for 35 bucks for a set of four. Um, if you want to get new corner lights, they're like, you know, 15 bucks for two. If you want to get new tail lights for the rear, it's 20 bucks to the door. So it's really amazing. I mean, there's all kinds of um, companies on eBay, Amazon, and LMC truck that sell them. You know, you have a little scratch on here, a little wear, you know. You got some stone chips from all the years, a little entry wear on the rocker. So this is a 100% rust free truck. You know, if you walk around the truck, you'll see tiny little chips, stuff like that. Um, you know, a little ding right here, you know, a little entry wear. Uh, stuff like that you gotta expect, but the this, this stuff that you do notice that is, uh, you know, commonly wore out is like the front bulkhead is in nice shape. It's not all bent forward. Uh, the bed sides are in really nice condition. You know, you have some little surface scratches and some little uh, loading issues. You know, you got a couple of chips down there. But uh, you can go all around the truck and you won't find any tape lines. That's all original paint. And you won't find any blown in paint, door jams or anything. There's a little ding right there that's really hard to see. Cause so a lot of these, like on the hood in here, you could have a paintless dent guy removed. Um, original 4x4 decal, never been replaced, looks good. Uh, it's got a drop-in bed liner. You can see all the pictures underneath the bed. This is really nice, rust-free truck. You can see the tail lights are just a little bit, you know, a little aging on them, but still nice color. The driver's side of the bumper is a little tweaked up, but um, obvious contact here. But if you, if it bothered you, you just hook a chain to this and it come along to something and slowly go. It'll pull this down and straighten it out. But like, of course, you'll still have that. Some little entry scratches and stuff on the bottom of the tailgate. Top of the tailgate's got your kind of typical loading scratches, but you know, all this stuff is just kind of little scratches around the light here that's rusted. Um, they probably had, uh, there's wiring for the trailer package down below, uh, but they probably had it through there for some reason. 
Otherwise that bumper's in nice shape. The aluminum panel's nice, little ding. Little wear on the plastic. Again here, kind of same kind of little wear here. Tail light, same condition. Both bedsides are kind of in the same condition. You know, a little wear here. Probably had a canopy on it at some point. But you know, a couple little scratches on the bedsides. You know, little, little guys, little chips like that. Um, but this truck, you know, is like the stuff that you really don't notice if you get close to it or when you're washing it. Um, you stand a couple feet away and the truck just got great eyeball appeal. But you can see there's never been any spray paint in the wheel wells. Both of them are like this. It's just a really clean, dry truck. Um, of course, you do get a little bit of surface rust down below on the on the frame and stuff like that. And You know, this, the moldings, they come in body color or black. This one obviously had the, the body color that's kind of over the years faded. Um, so... You got that. A little less entry wear on this side, of course, because it's the passenger side. A couple little scratches, little chips, but all the decals are in nice shape. Looks like they got a little close to something. Kind of scratched up the fender a little bit and put a little dent in there. A little ding. It's a little crease. Uh, so we'll go ahead and take you around inside. Um, again, you know, the felts are a little bit cracked. But it's got the Medium gray interior, which is always uh, probably my favorite, and it's probably like, you know, most people's favorite. Uh, gray interior kind of goes with anything. But you'll see it's just got nice paint throughout. Nice rust-free door. Uh, door panel's in really nice shape. All the screws are there, it's not pulled away. Um, you know, it's got, this is real common, a little fading there, but again, these things are dirt cheap. A little fading on the switch lettering. Nice door hinges. You know, no rust up here, anything like that. Uh, so it's got the bucket seats with the center console like the Broncos do. Armrests aren't broken. A lot of times those are broken, so they stop nice. Uh, the only wear on the dash is going to be this little spot up here. But again, if you just come back a little bit, you never notice. You really got to wrap your head around it to see it. A um, couple little scuffs on the glove box. A uh, little scuffing here probably when they put the aftermarket CD player in there. Um, but the ashtray isn't broken. You know, ashtray is nice and clean. Um, it's always a good sign that's not a smoker truck because the fast trick gets used a lot. They just kind of come unhinged. Um, for being 25 years old, the, the carpets look great for being original. Um, if you've seen the pictures when you pull the mat and on the entry side, there's a little bit of discoloring. But for considering the years, it's pretty impressive. The material's pulled away here, but it's not a hole. It's just the top material's kind of pulled away. Seat bounces forward nice. Back looks good. Rear seat looks nice. You know, there's a little bit. You know, a little bit of scuffing the material here from being folded and unfolded. When you fold these things down, it makes a tray, a metal tray, so you don't damage the, the seat. But the seat belts and stuff will kind of make these marks if you fold them down on that. But the rear plastics are nice. Nice headliner, you know, the dome lights there. It's not missing anything. That's what's nice about this truck is you could tell it's been used and enjoyed, but you could tell... Uh, it wouldn't look this good after 25 years if it wasn't taken care of. You know, it's been waxed, it's been maintained, it's been enjoyed, um, but it hasn't been altered. I mean, you get a lot of these trucks and people screw stuff into the dash. They're undoing wiring to add lights. Um, you know, it's got a trailer brake controller, you know, class three hitch. You can see it's really nice. I mean, these body plugs are still there. Decal, just really nice, smooth, shiny paint. You know, this isn't a detailed up truck. Um, you'll tell by the underside photos. There's a little bit of discoloring on the pull handle here. And a little bit of cleaning, but a lot of this you probably could just get to come up. Both sides have a little sun fading on the top. Um, you know, the steering wheel leather is still there and not pulled away. It's nice and tight, but it is worn, you know. Uh, it's a cruise control truck, automatic. Push button, four wheel drive. You know, it's a little worse over here, but again, those aren't holes. It's just the top material. Armrest is in nice shape, so we'll take you underneath the hood. But you look, you know, underneath the hood, it's, uh, you know, we had the oil changed. Uh, had, uh, you know, the owner before just had done uh, distributor cap and wires. Um, but if you look at the motor, it's, you know, what we like to call an honest engine bay. Um, but, you know, you see all these parts are still here, showing it's never been altered or anything. Bolts have never been touched by a wrench or ratchet. You know, the light still works. It's got all its original decals. You know, none of this stuff's been messed with. A lot of times, um, you know, these things will be missing. You know, these rubber guys will be missing. Um, but you can see the motor's a little dirty, a little greasy. It shows age. Um, don't think it's ever been out and rebuilt. Uh, it doesn't smoke, knock, tick. 
Um, the only thing that we had to do was the front windshield and throttle position sensor was acting up, so that was replaced. Um, but you can see that the water pump was done at some point. The gasket's obviously not the original. Looks like maybe the water pump let loose and kind of overheated at some point a long time ago. Um, but uh, you look at the underside, you know, the transmission's a little dirty, a little greasy um, in the underside, but that's, you know, it's kind of the stuff to expect. To me, if you see something that's spotless with this kind of miles or a bunch of spray paint done everywhere, I kind of tend to wonder what somebody's hiding. So we'd like to leave them in their, you know, nice, honest condition. So we will do a driving video and talk more about the mechanicals. But you can see it's running nice and smooth, not shaking or knocking or ticking. Um, so uh, we'll go ahead and hop in. Hopefully you guys can stick around for that video. And again, this is going at no reserve, so uh, high bid wins. Good luck. All right, here we are in a running driving video of our uh, all original uh, 94 F-150. It's this nice ultra red color, which is one of the best colors there is. You can see the headlights are nice and clear. They're not all yellow. You know, corner lights got a little bit of condensation. You know, it's got the 58 351. It's all warmed up. It's running really good. You can see the AC's hooked up and everything. Um, the AC clutch works properly. You'll probably see it kick on. It's running nice and smooth, not ticking or knocking. Um, no belt squealing. You know, oil was just changed, of course. Uh, got the uh, rear lights working. Got your license plates all working. You can see it's just running nice and smooth, nice and clean. Well, this truck was traded in locally. Um, you know, it's always been up in this area. It's only a two owner. You know, no accidents, all original paint. You know, of course, it's got some little imperfections here and there, but it's, it's great to see it's a rust free body. Um, you know, blower motor works really good. You know, um, AC's all hooked up like I mentioned, but you know, it's the older Freon. Um, everything's operating properly, but you can probably use a pound or two. You know, it's, you know, it's a 94. Um, you can see all the gauges, RPM gauge is working good. Um, you know, power windows, power door locks, and all your wing windows are nice and tight. They lock properly. You hear them click. They're nice and tight. You know, um, you know, it's got, uh, 183 739 miles on it right now dash is really nice um, a little bit of wear you know right here but still the leather's still here so I'm gonna pull back um, I had a cover on it but I want to take it off and show you how that's working um, but to right now I got the overdrive off so you can see it light up really good you never need to push this it's all you know preference of the owner it just kind of you know if you're in the city or you're in stop and go traffic it just keeps the exercise out of the transmission um, so we're going to get going here, going to put it in drive and uh, go ahead and put the e-brake down and you can see we're not moving and then you let go and you're getting moving good. Nice little JVC stereo. Got, this, you got the uh, wipers on high, you got like seven different speeds, you got low and you got the uh, so yeah, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight speeds. Um, you know, horn works good. Uh, it's a push button four wheel drive system. It's uh, dry out right now, so you know it's a little bit wet. But you just press that and it comes on. You can see the light come on. Um, so you can be moving and you press it to disengage. And you could be driving down the road. Uh, you don't need to do anything, but if you want to disengage it right away, you just put it in reverse and go. Um, it's a good run of truck, you know, it's uh, it's an original truck, underneath it's a little bit dirty. Um, you know, it's got, um, you know, it doesn't look like the, you know, the motor's ever been out, it doesn't look like the tranny's been done anytime soon, but the tranny operates like it should, shifts good, doesn't slip or shudder or shake or give me, uh, throw any alarming issues up. Um, motor pulls really nice and strong, again, we just had the oil change and a fuel filter thrown on it, had it aligned. And the throttle position sensor was acting up a little weird, so we had that replaced. Um, other than that, I mean, the guy, the owner before said he did tune up on it. Um, you know, he said he did the cap and rotor and the wires with the sun, but they didn't get to the plugs. But he said he did the plugs about um, two years ago, so you might want to throw some plugs in it. Um, you know, drives nice and straight, brakes really good. Um, this isn't you know our typical stuff. Usually we have really low mile, just mint condition trucks, but still, it's still a great truck. You know, it's. And, one of the best colors there is um, 
And you know, if you're looking for a work truck or a, a truck for your 16 year old, you guys want to do some improvements on, uh, you know, it's it's what uh, you know, 25 years old. So you know, there's all these kinds of little things you can do to it. Like it, nothing screams like it needs. You know, it doesn't need uh, belts in the motor. It doesn't need U joints. But you know, it's the original exhaust. Um, these trucks always benefit from a nice exhaust. So I'm gonna turn on the overdrive. Just so this is how it always is when you jump in. Um, and so uh, you just, you know, you have to turn it off, but you can just always just leave it on like that and never push the button, but we just like the show is working. Uh, I'm just giving it like just quarter throttle, like you're just putting. Um, but it does have a little bit of exhaust leak and it sounds like it's coming from up in this area, um, down below. Um, you can hear that little bit of feathering sound. Uh, you don't get any smells inside or nothing like that. So, um, but, uh, you know, you might want to put a nice exhaust on it. You can get a bolt-on kit. You know, if you want to get crazy, do a high-flow cab. Those, these things respond really well if you put, like my Bronco's got aftermarket Flowmaster exhaust and just a simple can and intake on it. Um, about 600 bucks for both of them. But it, it does, you know, it, you can just tell it feels lighter if that means anything. Like you hit the gas pedal and it just kind of goes a little bit easier. It feels like it's breathing a little better. Um, so I'll go ahead and give it some gas. You know, it drives nice and straight. You know, the place is a little bit banked, but the steering wheel is nice and straight. Um, you know, nice upshift. And floor it again, quick downshifts. And again, clean accident history, clean title. Um, you know, the undercarriage, like I was mentioning, you know, it might be a little bit surface rusty on the frame, you know, from 25 years. You know, you'll see some dirt and grease, but that's not like my original vehicles to be. You know, I don't like to see something steam cleaned and spray painted everywhere where I'm wondering, you know, what was it like? You can see how it was cared for. You can see it's an enjoyed truck, a used truck. But being 25 years old, there's probably always room for improvement. So you can kind of do the fun stuff like exhaust. Um, tires got plenty of tread, but you know, maybe you want to do a lift kit or leveling kit for these things about a hundred bucks for some coil springs. And then you could run a 32 to a 33. So this road's pretty choppy right here. There's some patches in the road, some bad potholes. I'll take you over those. It just soaks them up nice. You get a little bit of rattling. This trim piece here is for some reason shaking around. So it's just little stuff like that, you know. Um, it's easy to forget that these trucks are they're getting to be old, you know. It's getting to be 25 years old. This body style is almost 30 years old. And it's like you think back in 1980, I mean, that was almost a 1950 vehicle. That was definitely old in 1980. So these trucks are really timeless. They came a long ways. They're fuel injected, they're power brakes, all that stuff. So the power windows, power door locks, you can get AC. So they have the modern amenities, but they're still that classic truck you can work on. Um, you know, but it doesn't, you know, you jump in it and go as is. Drive your 3,000 miles, do your oil changes. So here's a real tight 90. You know, the, the steering wheel wants to return to center. It doesn't, you know, no ball joint, you know, popping or um, play in the the steering box. There's a tiny bit of play in the front end, so then, you know, maybe, you know, it might be due for tie rods in a couple years or next, you know, 20,000 miles or so. But it uh, doesn't need it right now. You just, you know, it just feels, you know, it's kind of got your old truck characteristics. You know, you jump in it, you're obviously not in a 20, you know, 12 even. Um, but they're super cheap to maintain. Um, all the brakes are good, all that stuff. So, all right, this is going to be going at no reserve, just a killer rust-free example, original paint, um, two-owner truck. So, good luck.